Hi there everyone, it's Nathan here again to share with you another quick tutorial on Photoshop. And this one is all about using the brush tool but using it so that we can get as smooth lines as possible. And also I'm going to bring in a bit of um, using the symmetry tool as well just so that we can rarely use this to the best of our ability and especially in terms of using it with wallpapers, background designs and things like that. So first of all um, as you can see here, I've got a Photoshop file open, one where I've been sketching up a um, design. This was done symmetrically, um, as you can see, but at the moment it's looking pretty rough. So if I just zoom in, as you can see, it's not very neat. Some of the lines are a bit shaky. So we want this to look nice and clean. Um, this is actually a piece that um, I did for a client. All right, So I sent through a few of these um, designs and you know they said they like this one. Now take it to completion. So this is how we're gonna take this and make it a whole lot neater, all right? Of course, this could be done in vector, but we're here working in Photoshop, so we're gonna be just working with the basic brush tools. So first things first, I'm, go I'm gonna make a new layer on top, and I'm going to make this one, this layer here, fainter, okay? So we're just gonna work on the top layer. Now make sure your brush is selected, um, that's B for the shortcut on the keyboard and use whatever brush is suitable for whatever you're doing. For me I'm using a hard round brush to make sure that you know it's nice and smooth and I'm going to just go into the brush settings here and make sure that there's no spacing in between so that there's no space for you know any wiggling or higgity haggity lines. So here we go. I'm then going to go to smoothing, normally set to zero. If we just push it up, then this will help us get those smooth lines. So if I just show you what it's like when I draw normally. So say if I was to draw this normally, as you can see, there are slight variations and wiggles and all sorts of things like that. However, if I do it with smoothing, I'll put it up to about 40%. Have a look. Much less variation, okay? And um, one thing that you'll find with the smoothing as well is that the higher your smoothing is, the longer the delay on your brush when you draw. So have a look, I'll put it up quite high this time. You see that delay? My brush is all the way down here, but it's moving up there. And that's just how it works with it. All right. So that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to get those nice smooth lines. And as you can see, they are really quite smooth, even when we zoom in, especially because we remove that spacing. So now let's try and make it symmetrical. So let me just go ahead and clear this out. So just grab the eraser and clear it up. And I'm gonna put the smoothing back to about 35. I think that's all we really need. Eh, maybe a bit higher, maybe about 40. 40, 42, all right. Symmetry now. So up here on the right, you'll see this butterfly with the dotted line through it. We're just going to click that and we can pick how it works. So we can do it vertical, horizontal, dual axes and so on. For this, I want a, a dual axis. I want it through the middle, going both horizontally and vertically. All right, so I'm just gonna put that there and there we go. What I need to do is just stretch this to the corners like so. It's a nice square shape, so it's going to fit. Move it sideways, make sure it fits perfectly. Enter. There, we've got it. So now all I have to do is start that design. I just got, let's go like that. All right. So we take our time. We carefully go around and just paint in the outline of this design. And as you can see, I'm actually able to do this quite fast. This is real time, this is not sped up. I'm going to do this quite fast. Got a bit of shaking there. Maybe I need to up the smoothing just a little bit. Simply because that smoothing is doing a lot of the processing for me. I'm not sure if you can hear in the background, but my computer is actually whirring. 
with the amount of processing that it's doing here on top of of course recording <laughs> with my voice and the screen and you can just carry on like that and as you can see it's appearing all over and by the end of that it ends up looking like this you know I filled in the color um, filled in the background and we've got a really nice bold design this is actually for a um, design a design and homeware and clothing company um, called Kimbongu Designs I'll link it below they're really amazing design, um, design designers and that stuff's really good but yeah it's literally that simple use that smoothing tool up there combine it with the symmetry tool and you can create loads of really good designs really good um, newspaper uh, newspaper and wallpaper designs and you know just create some really cool patterns so why not give it a go try this out see what you can create and use it as a way to really explore what you can do with photoshop okay i would really look forward to seeing what you make um leave any questions or any ideas that you have down in the comments below and also anything that you want to see um i'm always thinking of what people are really looking for because of course there's already quite a lot of photoshop content online so if there's anything that's really standing out to you that you want to ask me about or ask me to make a tutorial on just let me know in the comments down below if you haven't already um be sure to check out some of our other um photoshop tutorials and of course don't forget to like and subscribe as well and with that i think we'll call it a day that's all for now until next time